My mom and dad are very successful business people in the Philippines. And sabi ko nung malikita ko, I want to be like them. Sabi ko, pero uh, ano ba yung mga ginawa ng parents ko? Trinay na nila ako when I was still in high school. Talaga tinitrain nila ako on how to handle a business. Yun yung nakuha ko din sa kanila kasi very, very hardworking talaga sila. And also, when I told my mom, sabi ko, Ma, gusto ko na ulit mag, I think I want to be an esthetician. And my mom was so surprised kasi I'm already a graduate of a computer program. Four year bachelor course, tapos, tapos mag-aaral ka na naman. Pero at the back of her mind, I know that she truly believe believe in me. So, sabi ko, sabi ko, ma, ano gusto ko talaga ipursu. With all, with all, what, with all support, talaga sabi niya, oh, sige, go, go and, and do whatever you want to do. Um, sa parents ko naman, sa dad and mom ko, um, nasa Philippines sila. I know na iba talaga yung plans mo para sa akin because I was the one, ako yung nag-handle ng business niya sa Philippines. And I know it was mahirap talaga nung umalis ako dahil ako mismo nag-aasikasa sa lahat tapos iniwan ko na lang sa kapatid ko, kay Ken, kay Claren, kay Mark, and sa dad ko na ipatakbo yung business. 2003, nag-start ako sa pagiging esthetician. Nakuha ko yung license ko. So, I was so excited. I thought uuwi ako ng Pilipinas kasi gusto ng parents ko tumulong ako sa RTW business nila. Sabi ko, naku, gusto ko mag-explore muna dito after ng license. So, what I did was naghanap ako ng trabaho. Naalala ko, nag-apply siya sa, I think it was Macy's or J.C. Penny pag-graduate niya. Tapos, hindi siya natanggap. So, syempre, medyo... Um, Malungkot siya, ganoon. Tapos uh, ako naman nagtatrabaho ako sa printing company. So, sinusupport ko lang talaga siya. And then finally, uh, nag-open yung opportunity dito kay um, Tita Lodi sa Lodi Styling Centers. Ah, nung pumunta sa akin si Olivia, hindi ko alam na Pilipino. Naghahanap siya, kagagraduate lang niya. Naghahanap siya ng matatrabahuhan. And um, it happened, sabi kong ganoon na eh, mayroon akong clinic na hindi naman ako mahilig sa facial. So, kung gusto mo, you know, gamitin mo. I think yung challenges in the beginning na nag-uumpisa ako, syempre wala tayo, wala akong clients noon. Pag nagsisimula ka, yung trust factor, wala pa dun eh. So, lalo na, it, yung pagdating sa face, it takes a while for them to really trust you kasi mukha nila yun eh. Uh, ako naman, nagtatrabaho ako sa printing company. So, sinusupport ko lang talaga siya. So, yung nagsimula siya roon, tapos um, nakita ko lahat ng struggles niya ni Olivia na paano maghahad ng client. Minsan, tatawag siya sa akin sa work. Kukulitin niya ako. Um, wala kasi siya magawa. So, pero nasa trabaho ko, so hindi ako pwede masyado matagal sa phone. Iniisip ko, paano ko kaya ipopromote yung sarili ko? Kasi ang mga pumapasok lang sa parlor, yun yun, yun, yun nag nagpa-facial. Pero paano ako makikilala sa labas? Paano ako magkakaroon ng customer awareness? So, with that, uh, what I did was putting flyers in front of the windshields ng mga kotse sa harap ng supermarket. Sabi ko, sige, gagawin ko lahat ng pwedeng gawin para lang talaga na may mag mag magkaroon ako ng client. It's a, it's been a valley up and down, up and down. Minsan isa lang client ko for a day, forty five dollar na yung facial tinatawaran pa ng thirty five. Siko si gina para lang may magawa ako for the day. So it lasted for about uh, two years, I think, naganon. So I sabi ko ang hirap naman nito. But then we get to realize na sabi ko oh hindi na kaya masadong nakikita kasi I'm building my business, he's building his business. Halos hindi na kami nakikita. So inisip namin parang hindi yata maganda yun sa relationship namin because we are newlyweds. Yung talagang nag-decide nag -decide talaga ako na um, lumipat ng ibang field nung um, yung nag-quit na ako sa printing business, so binenta na namin lahat. Noong 2007, I think, uh, meron isang friend na sinama ako sa Christian Church. Tapos noon, nakilala ko talaga si Lord. And then, um, nagkaroon ako ng personal relationship sa kanya. Then everything changed. That's where the blessing starts. That's where uh, everything started. So, I'm just so grateful until now na kung paano talaga change ng Lord yung life ko with regards to family, with regards sa, sa business, pagdating sa pag-open ng door sa akin. Nako, talaga pagdating dyan, I praise the Lord so much. Uh, Jason and I, we've been married for five years. Hindi kami magka-baby. Tapos, we are believing by faith talaga na we've been praying and praying, Lord, bigyan mo talaga yung desires ng heart, yung heart namin. Pagkatapos, na, then after five years, binigyan niya kami ng uh, baby, baby girl and we name her Faith. 
tapos may anak na rin kami nyo. like uh, i think yung si Faith was like one year old one year old so uh, medyo stressful din dahil syempre um nag-aalaga ka ng bata at the same time may business ka so medyo mahirap i-balance and now binigyan pa kanya niya kami ng baby Faith and baby Tima we are just so blessed na yung family namin complete and i was looking back sabi ko bakit kaya it took us five years bago magkaroon ng baby tapos i get to realize na dong five years time pala na yon yun yung time na binibuild yung business ng Oskin eh hanggang makilala hanggang magkaroon ng name pagkatapos noon no medyo naging stable na yung Oskin care then binigyan na niya kami ng anak first of all chef kumbaga sa amin dalawa ni Olive alam naman namin yung priority this time and we prioritize God first then our family then our business but sometimes like syempre minsan sa sobrang busy mo nagkaka ano yun nagkaka interchange so pag nagkakagulo yun na out of sync doon kami nagii-struggle talaga na parang nagkakaroon kami ng relationship issues like hindi kami masyado magkaintindihan kulang sa communication pag sobrang busy so we need make sure namin na everything's you know up to sync. Success for each person, it, 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 we define success in a different way. Sa ang success ko would be equally and balanced time with regards to my family and the business. That's why I work uh, four days, four days a week, and then I spend time with my family for three days. That's how I define success. Kasi balance eh. All my team members, I would say, I'm so blessed with all of them. Sobra silang sipag. Sobrang they're all hardworking. They're all very respectful. That's what O Skincare is known for. When she started here, sabi niya, if I wanted to work for her, which I did. And then that time, she encouraged me again to take up the esthetician class. So, which I did after that. I've been doing facials for a few years. Then that's the time that she promoted me to be the manager of O Skincare. I have learned so much in O Skincare in terms of work ethics, leadership, and teamwork. Thank you for bringing the best in me and bringing the best in all of us. You're such an amazing person. You're such an amazing boss. Working at Oskin Care, I have learned so many things. Things that you don't normally learn in school. But the most I cherish and value would be, I've learned that I'm not working alone. I work around people who care for you as a family. At tagal na namin magkakasama, but then we still have this unity. Very important sa akin as a leader in this business is to always have unity. Sabi nga ni Lord na, for every unity, I command a blessing. So, may ano eh, merong, yun, merong condition eh. Kailangan united kayo. Kailangan we have to be united as a team. So, maganda yun as a, in a Filipino community. If we're all united, we will all be blessed. Nasa skin care na ako, nag, nag, gumagawa na ako sa mga clients. Fulfilled na fulfilled ako if yung tipong at the end of the service, I mean, masaya talaga sila na nagustuhan nila yung service, not only because of how I performed it, kumbaga yung one-on-one -on -one interaction namin. Um, masaya sa some jokes, you know, tapos um, we're able to share some stories. Then, uh, lalo, kang, lalo akong natutuwa, like, like for example, pagbalik nila, tapos ha, ikaw na yung hanapin. And also, sa mga clients ko, thank you so much for supporting me from the very beginning. And also, hanggang ngayon, nandiyan pa rin kayo. At mga future clients ko, I know na yung mga hindi ko pa na-facialan, I hope one day na makakapag-try din kayo sa O Skin Care. So, um, sa Auntie Cherry ko, um, sa mga ibang kamag-anak ko rito sa US, sa California, um, lalo na kila Auntie Cherry sa family nila, kila Uncle David. Uh, thank you na yung nagsisimula ako dito, uh, pinatira niyo ako sa bahay niyo kasi yung time niyo talaga wala, talaga, wala pa akong trabaho, wala pa akong two places, a place to stay. Tapos sa uh, yung matagal ko ng kaibigan na hindi ko na, hindi, matagal ko na hindi nakikita, sila Chris, sila Mike yun na tumulong din sa akin yung nagsisimula ako sa US. And I'm so thankful for my parents. Talaga sobra talagang nakaka-bless na my parents na kagaya nila. Sa misis ko, kay Olive, um, I'm so happy and so blessed na ikaw yung asawa ko. I, I know sometimes na misa natatanong mo sa akin yung, ano, yung, ano yung feelings ko para sa'yo. Kasi hindi naman ako sa'yo ganun ka-expressive sometimes. Sometimes like, tahimik lang kasi ako minsan. Pero, I mean, deep inside, um, lagi ko pinagdarasal na mahaba pa buhay natin magkasama. My husband, Jason, I'm, I'm so happy that you're my husband. 
that you're always there to support me all the way. Tapos napaka um, napaka I'm super blessed to be your wife. To my kids, I love you, Faith and Tim. Thank you sa lahat ng um, mommy and daddy loves you very much. And, and um, I know you will be good and kids and God-fearing kids. For I know the plans that I have for you. Plans to prosper you and to give you a good hope and a good future. I love that kasi Alam ni Lord eh. Alam ni Lord what, what His plans for me are. So I just put the complete, my complete trust in His hand. Sabi ko, Lord, take care of me, take care of my family and my business. I put everything in Your hands. Siya na bahala. So, you know, less worry for me. I don't want to worry talaga eh. Yan yung, yan yung one thing na pagpapunta na ako doon. Sabi ko, Lord, help me to stay in Your Word and believe in Your Word rather than to meditate dun sa pag worry So, we have a choice eh. Every day in life. Do we, do we worry? Do we meditate in God's Word? So, I choose to meditate in His Word para hindi ako mapupunta doon. So, life gets easier and better. It doesn't mean that there's no trials, pero kasama mo si Lord eh. Hindi kanya niya iiwanan. Yun yung napakaganda doon.